welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious chicken fajita with rice. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious slow cooker chicken fajita with rice. This recipe is really easy to make and it uses very few ingredients but it's still super tasty and I'm using my slow cooker today because it's a really hot day in the UK and the slow cooker saves me so much time and energy and money as well I have to say this is one of the most economical ways to cook so and all I have to do is throw all of the ingredients into it as well so what I've done is prepared all my ingredients so on this chopping board here I have one onion that I've peeled sliced and diced normally in chicken fajitas I would just simply slice the onion but I forgot today and diced it up so it, normally I would just slice the onion though and then I've got one courgette that I have peeled and sliced as well into sort of half centimeter pieces I'd say and then I also have a green pepper in the original recipe I did say a red pepper but um, unfortunately I didn't have any red peppers today so I'm using a green one red peppers are slightly sweeter and you do need this to be a little bit sweet as well I would say so if you have got red peppers then please do use them but I'm using green ones today so I just simply remove the top remove the core and the stalk and then I just simply sliced the flesh and all I'm going to do with those ingredients is put them into my slow cooker pot like so if I don't throw half of it over the side that is don't worry my countertops are clean so don't worry too much about that and then I'm going to add uh, so two large breasts of chicken which was about 500 grams so I'm going to pop that into my slow cooker pot as well excuse fingers I'm just going to go and wash my hand now next I'm going to add in some smoked paprika to this I haven't got much smoked paprika so I'm just going to use up what's left in the jar and we'll have to order some more of that as well and then I'm also going to add in some mild chilli powder to this so I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of mild chilli powder and then I'm also going to add in some ground ginger as well so I'm just going to add in about a teaspoon of ground ginger and then I've got some ground sweet cinnamon as well just to add a bit of extra sweetness without adding sugar so I'm just going to add in probably about half a teaspoon of ground sweet cinnamon and then of course I have my salt and pepper to taste so you can add salt and pepper if you want to or you don't have to at all so I'm just going to add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and this is just the basics there is spinach and sour cream to add in at the end as well and obviously I'll have to cook off some rice later as well but that is just basically everything you need in there and then I'm going to add some chicken stock to this as well so I've got about 500 ml of chicken stock if you haven't got chicken stock and you want to use bone broth that's perfectly okay as well or vegetable stock as well if you haven't got chicken stock is good too so I'm just going to put that in I'm going to place my lid on and I'm going to turn this on to high for about three hours but if you wanted it to cook for longer then you could put it on low for about five to six hours the chicken fajita has finished cooking and I'm currently cooking some rice on the hob but before I put the whole dish together I just wanted to add some spinach to this dish so I've got a small handful of spinach that I'll wilt down in a moment and I also want to add some sour cream as well so I'm going to add about three to four tablespoons of sour cream so one two three I think I'll do three and then I'm just going to mix that in so basically it's like the filling of a chicken fajita this is dish except it's a bit more soupy because it has got the uh, chicken stock in it as well but it does smell really nice and as I said I'm just cooking off the rice now so once the rice is finished cooking I will just give it a try for you and see how it tastes but basically that's the dinner done rice finished cooking and I'm just going to try some of this chicken because it smells so good I'm going to try it with a little bit of the rice and hopefully some of the sauce as well oh it does smell really nice 
when the chicken's cooked in the slow cooker it makes it really tender it's lovely it's just melt in the mouth and the herbs and the spices with it can really complement it so yes that is our dinner done that's how you make my delicious chicken fajita with rice and that recipe i will link in the description box below for you as i mentioned earlier we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tasted so good i can't wait so for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button See you soon. Bye.